I know, Ivan Cloak without a beard? Isn't that crazy? I know, I, I can't believe it myself, but... Yep, I'm sh I shaved because, um, I wanted it to grow in better, and because it, it was coming a lot a little shaggy over here, and kind of patchy, I didn't like it. So, um, yeah, I'll be back with the mustache and all that kind of cool stuff, too. So don't worry, you'll be seeing that soon. But, in other news, I am changing my direction a little bit on YouTube. Um, gonna do some uh, uh, reviews, but not reviews of video games, not reviews of this kind of stuff, but that kind of stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit of reviews on music in general. Artists, their music, what I like about them, what I dislike about them, and all that. So the first thing that I like to say is I am in a weird mood. When I'm in a weird mood when I listen to music, I listen to weird music, right? Well... I'm in one of those moods where, like, I'm listening to Spacey, Far Out, Pink Floyd. You know, I got the Wish You Were Here album just recently, and I have The Wall, and I don't know, I've just had an explosion of liking their, their music, and I don't quite know why. Maybe it's the spaciness of it, maybe it's the fact that it slowly leads you through track after track, and it brings to a certain conclusion. It's a lot more jazzy-ish. It's not as rockish. It's not. It's not overplayed. It's not overdone. It's just something else. It's new. It's just different. I mean, I like that part about Pink Floyd. Is they're different. Things I don't, I don't like the fact that they um sometimes are a little too spacey for me, but I, I can deal with most of them. It's acquired taste. It takes a lot of listening to get into. I don't know why that is. It took me a long time to even be able to listen to Dark Side of the Moon without turning it off halfway through. But when I listened to it the whole way through, I realized, so this is how their music works. It's kind of like a story, not just a song. A song that has no words or no meaning. It's more like